once you have a table, I think the next thing that everyone wants to do is do a chart. So how do you do that? It's actually quite simple. Select the text and the values. So in this case, I want all this text and the values and click on chart to add to the spreadsheet. Now you have a selection of 2D, 3D and interactive charts. For the sake of this example, I'll choose 3D. Again, you can select and you can change it. But for now, I'll just choose a pie chart. Notice that Apple gives you in numbers a very beautiful pie chart here. You can see the reflection. And because this is numbers, you can actually select the individual object inside that chart. You can pull out the pie. You can edit the data reference if you need to. Okay, very nice. And in addition to that, you can actually do cool stuff as well. So since this is a chart, you can adjust it or change it using the chart type here. So let's say I want to do 3D columns. Okay, it changes it. And for the values, every time I change a value here, it updates it automatically. Very simple, very fast. But I can do better than that because in numbers, you can adjust the values. All you do, select the cells and you can format the cells by clicking on Format and the cell. Choose the data format. By default, it's automatic, but I'll choose a slider. The maximum value here, I'm going to put 1000 as the limit. Now, what this means is that these cells are now turned into sliders. So if I select one, I can just adjust the value by pulling up the slider because I changed the cell into a slider. And you notice that the charts update, the values update. And this is why in numbers, you can create beautiful tables, spreadsheet, and charts. So try it out.